All right, what up, what up, what up? What's poppin'? What's good? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What up, what up, what up? I don't know why this thing always says the stream is super it's going slow, but we're going to make it happen. But anyway, so what's good, people? What is going on? Um, so remember that to ne today is the last day for the bad boy membership sale. Okay, today is the last day, guys, for the bad boy membership sale. The last day. All right. So by 11:59 p.m. tonight, the sale is over. So you still have time. <clears throat> you have you have up until the end of today. So at 11:59 p.m. tonight, it's a wrap. So basically, for the bad boy membership sale again, you guys are gonna get. How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, audio book for free. You're going to get the Bad Boy book for free. And you're also going to get 60 Second Game book for free. You feel what I'm saying? What up, uh, KP Max was good. Say happy birthday. My birthday was uh, the 28th. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, tonight is the end of the sale. So you guys still have time. So it ends 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tonight. Okay, so make sure you guys get that shit popping. You feel what I'm saying? And it's fucking hot in this motherfucker. But anyway, so today I wanted to talk about wanted to talk about how you don't need money to get sex from women. Right? You do not need money to get sex from women. What up, bad ba was popping? You do not need money to get sex with women. So a lot of guys, they think that they actually have to get their money up in order to get chicks, which is false. You understand? This is a big thing when it comes to, uh, what up, June Sports? Rob was popping. So you got the membership last night. That's what's up, bro. That's what's up. So is this thing where, what up, Keith? Is this thing where people have this idea that if you get your money up or if you have a lot of money that's going to make it easier for you to get girls or automatically you're going to get girls right so dudes is like once i get my, my paper up dudes say oh you got to get get all of this and get all of that then you're going to get sex room chicks right you're going to get these girls what you have to understand is what up george if you have to, what you have to understand is is that you don't need money to get it popping what up, Lorenzo? Was good, bro. You don't need you don't need the money. You understand? In fact, the money doesn't really do anything to get a woman sexually aroused to want to fuck you. And I've talked about this before. What up, Soldier Miami? Was good. So a lot of guys they think that they need to get their money up, and that's going to make it easier for them to get girls, which is nonsense. It's nonsense. You understand? You don't need money at all. You need zero dollars to get pussy. Zero. You understand? And, and, and if you think that getting money is going to make it easier for you, get, for you to get the girls, right? You are basically living in a fantasy world. This is what guys don't get. See, guys will see, let's say, like, gold diggers fucking with a dude or... They'll see a dude with a lot of money with a chick and they automatically assume he got the chick because he had the money. You understand? Now, in certain cases, what's going to happen is, is that a girl will see you have the money and she'll end up fucking you because she's using her pussy to gain access to your money and resources. You understand? But it's not this thing where once you have money, women are going to automatically come. So it's like this, and I've talked about this before. Let's say if me and you went to a fucking um, bar or club, right? And let's say you have 10, 15 million dollars in the bank. So you have 10 or 15 million dollars in the bank and me and you go to the club. Now, how are you getting all these girls in the club? You understand? How are you getting these chicks? Because when you walk in there, they don't know that you have 10 or 15 million dollars. They have no idea. You're just another dude in the club. You understand? 
So what's going to happen, have to happen is you're still going to have to approach the woman and talk to them in order for anything to go down, right? Now, I guess, you know, you could be in a situation where you talking to a girl, you might tell her you have a whole bunch of shit going on, and then she may end up wanting to fuck with you off of that, but that's, a, a you know, a might. It's not like it's automatic, you understand? Because this is the thing you got to understand about when it comes to sex and why women want to even have sex with you, right? The thing is this. Women... They're going to want to have sex because they are sexually attracted to you. And what you have to understand is that the money and the status and all this other stuff, those are societal things that don't really have anything to do with uh, nature and, and natural uh, things going on. So it's, it's natural for a woman to want to have sex with you, which has nothing to do with your money. You understand? Because she wants your sperm. You feel me? Oh, I'm going I'm to take calls in a second. I'm going to take calls in a second. She wants your sperm so that you can get her pregnant and get the shit popping. Right? But that has nothing to do with the money. And the thing is, yeah, at the end of the day, once, let's say you have a baby with the girl, whatever, all that other shit, she's going to want resources to for her and the kid but what I'm talking about is the initial feeling of her wanting to have sex had nothing to do with your money. Because, see, this is what women will do. They will have sex with the bum, you know, the, the dude that ain't got shit going on. She'll fuck him, get pregnant, and then end up marrying some beta male who has all his money. You feel what I'm saying? That's the thing. So when dudes be talking about, oh, you know, Get your money up. Nah, son. So y'all got to understand it. That shit doesn't really do anything for you to get to the pussy. Unless you're paying for it. You understand what I'm saying? Straight out. Um, or you're specifically messing with like a chick who's a gold digger and all that. Because look, nowadays chicks, a lot of chicks, at, you know, nowadays got their own fucking money. They're not even tripping on that. They're not even tripping on that. So... They're looking for a guy that they're actually interested in. You feel what I'm saying? They're looking for that dude. Because most chicks who are just trying to fuck with you for the money, they're trying to manipulate you into getting as much money in most cases without them even having to do a lot of stuff. So sometimes chicks will try to hold off on the sex to get more of your money and resources. You see what I'm saying? So that shit, that shit will also happen. You understand? Bad buy. You said there's specific girls that that go for guys that has lots of money. It has nothing to do with love or care. Exactly. Exactly. Like a lot of there's chicks out there who they will only fuck with a dude who got a lot of paper because they're trying to live a certain lifestyle and they're like, well, this guy can give it to me, and then so in exchange. She, will, she might fuck you at some point. You understand? But what happens is, is that you don't need money to get to the pussy. Because the pussy automatically wants the dick. It's natural. This is how it's supposed to work. You feel what I'm saying? So your money, in the grand scheme of things, has nothing to do with her desire to get your dick. So when dudes are wasting time trying to get money to get the chicks... They're just, you know, they're wasting a lot of time trying to, you know, do that because what's going to happen is, is that, what up, Joe Blast? What they're trying to do is, is that they are basically wasting time to get to the pussy when they could have did it without having to get all this money and all this other shit. It's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. But um, let me put out the call-in number, the call-in number 646-481-3901. So you guys can call up. Let me, uh copy that shit you guys can call it if you want yes sir was popping you said it's my why does everyone think it's my birthday today my birthday is was on the 28th my birthday was on the 28th my birthday was on the 28th treasure map what you talking about bro 
You say you need both of what? What do you need both of? So let me, um... Yo, what's poppin'? Who's this? What up, gang team? Lucario, it's your boy Joe from H-Town. What's going on, bro? Hey, what's good? Uh, first, I'd like to say uh, just subscribe to the membership. And I'm finna start studying today. That's what's up. I start listening to that shit while I, while I, while I go running. But um, I just wanted to give, I ain't gonna be too long. Um, mm. I just wanted to give a quick two cents on this whole, mm. you know, money LMS thing. Because I guess we still on this bullshit. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm sick of these bitch ass niggas. Like for real. <laughs> like for real, for real. Because I, I, I saw that video that you would put up on... Um, uh, Mr. Lucario gets in a heated debate with frustrated callers or whatever right. the fuck. Right. Um, I, I, it's so, it's like both like sad and like hilarious mm -hmm. at the same time because right. these dudes that keep talking about looks, money, and status, you, you notice how their arguments are never consistent. Right. One minute they say it's all about money and, and, and status, and then when you disprove the argument, then they go, they, and they resort to me like, oh, well, it's still just about looks. Right. And then you'd be like, well, okay, explain how all of these broke, ugly dudes are mm. still mm. macking with, like, fucking dimes and shit. Mm. And when you say explain that, notice they don't ever explain it. Exactly. And their only defense is... Oh, well, that's just anecdotal evidence. Right, okay, they'll say, well, it, they'll say oh, he's like, they'll be like, he's an outlier and all that other shit. That's, that's yeah. what they'll say. <laughs> yeah, well, motherfucker, I could say that the good-looking uh, dude with money is a uh, fucking is anecdotal because mm -hmm. that's all you're choosing to pay attention to. Mm -hmm. And what I've realized is that these dudes, they're too prideful or mm -hmm. too egotistical or just too, like, weak, for lack of a better term, right. to uh, actually do the work and work on themselves to get what they want out of life. Mm -hmm. So instead, they put all their energy towards justifying why they're not getting what they want. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, so and they're trying to find a justification instead of just going out and work and working on the shit. And I, I remember one one of them dudes said, uh, uh, like when you when you brought up, um, I can't remember what his name was, but you brought up some YouTuber that you know is that is quote-unquote good-looking. Mm -hmm. And I keep saying quote-unquote because I don't know why these dudes are worried about what the fuck another dude right, looks Right, exactly, like, right. All. But you brought up that one dude that went, talked to 100 girls, mm -hmm. got 60 numbers, and only smashed, like, what, eight chicks? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Eight exactly. out of those 60 chicks. And then the other dude was like, yeah, well, uh, 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 ugly dude would have to, you know, do, <laughs> would, it would be significantly harder. And I'm just right. thinking, so what? Right, exactly. Like that, that's called life, mm -hmm. okay? It's, it's also called being a fucking man. Stop being right. a bitch, dude. Mm -hmm. Like, these dudes is out here wanting, these dudes, out, these dudes out here want females to think the way that us guys think. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. They want to defy fucking nature and just want shit to just fall in their fucking lap. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And it's really fucking frustrating because I, I truly wholeheartedly believe that 50% of lesbians turn lesbian because of motherfuckers like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because of motherfuckers like that or because motherfuckers like that, like that locker room dude that keeps mm -hmm. calling up. That nigga that keeps calling you up week after week just to mm. argue with you over fucking LMS. And right. I'm starting to think that nigga's a troll. But please, <laughs> but please keep answering his calls because he's fucking hilarious. You know what I'm saying? That oh, man, not hilarious. as true. But, that, but, you know, that that's all I got to say on, the whole, on, on that whole situation. Appreciate what you're doing, bro. Yeah, man. Appreciate the call, bro. All right, Milo. Yeah. yeah, man, that's true. A lot of these dudes out here, man. What up, Zeus Ooh. Flippy? Yeah, a lot of these dudes out here, they just... They just always want to fucking complain about some bullshit, man. They always want to complain about some bullshit. I'm like, yo, just put the work in. You'll get shit popping, man. It's not that serious. But, you know, dudes be on that other shit. You feel what I'm saying? They be on that other shit. Yeah, because was, what he was talking about was, I think it was, um, there's a dude named Paul Jenka. And he, he used to, I don't know if he's a pickup artist anymore, but he used to be a pickup artist. And, you know, he's, he's what... You know, some people would consider this good-looking dude, right? And so he was basically saying, like, yo, he have to talk to, you know, a lot of chicks to get shit popping. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of these guys have this fantasy that if they were, like, better looking, everything will fall into place. And, you know, they can get any girl and it'll just be super easy and they don't have to do it. It's like, no, you still got to put in work. You still got to put in work. 
You understand? And everybody's, you know, situation is going to be different, but you got to figure out what you need to do for you. Because you know what I notice about a lot of these guys is what they'll do is, is they'll compare themselves to every, everybody else. They're comparing themselves to other people. And the thing is, is that you can't really compare yourself to anyone else because they're you, you know, they're them and you're you. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be a whole different situation because you might approach a girl, whatever the fabulous is popping, you might approach a girl and she's going to be feeling you and that other guy might approach her and he, he, she's not going to be feeling him and vice versa. That guy can approach a girl, she's going to be feeling him and then you approach that same girl, she's not going to be feeling you. But the point is, is get you got to get what you need to get. What up, KZagon20 in the building was popping. You got to get what you need to get. But see, dudes, they, you know, they're, they're always comparing themselves to other to other men. This is why they're so frustrated because, and, and the, the funny part is, when they compare themselves to other men, they don't really know what's happening with the other men. They'll be like, they'll see a guy and they'll say, oh, this guy's good looking. So I bet you he has a bunch of chicks doing this and doing that. You have no idea what's going on in that dude's life. You have no idea how many chicks he's fucking. You understand? You, the dude might be even... He might fucking be gay. You don't know. You know what I'm saying? But you're focusing on that dude, but you're not focusing on what you need to do to get what you need to get. You feel what I'm saying? Because some dudes will say, oh, well, this guy, he only has to approach five girls to get to get a, to get get a sex, and, I, and this other guy has to approach a uh, hundred. Who cares? You feel what I'm saying? You got to do what you got to do. What up, Black Panther was popping? Crazy. But yeah, that's what it is. A lot of dudes be, be you know, be scared of shit, man. Um, Tito, you said a lot of soft men fell victim to escorts. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you said we support Ness. Oh, yeah, Ness started fucking with the escorts. Oh, man. That shit's crazy. Ned started fucking with the escorts, bro. He gave up. He's like, fuck this game shit. I'm just trying to get these chicks. I'm just trying to get these this, these, this pussy. So I'm just going to pay these chicks. You know what I'm saying? But man. But see, the thing, the, the, the title of the show today, man, I'm talking about how these dudes think they need to get money to get pussy. You feel what I'm saying? And if just if you're thinking with common sense, right? When you fuck a girl, do you fuck a girl with your dick or do you fuck a girl with, with a stack of $100 bills? You understand what I'm saying? You fucking the chick with your dick. See, some of y'all guys who have extremely low self-esteem think that, well, I'm not good enough, so therefore, I need something else for the girl to like me, which is the which is the money. You feel what I'm saying? So, yo, what's popping? Who's this? This is, what's up, man? This is Jay. How you doing? I'm chilling. What's going on? Not too much, man. I wanted a little bit of advice, my dude. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm stuck in that mode of like constantly still thinking I need to spend at least about forty dollars, sixty to forty dollars on the fucking first date, and I'm trying to just like. I've heard from some people like uh, Rosebud that you never do the the coffee dinner or the coffee date. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what else can you kind of really do to, to kind of let them know that you're interested, but you're not like, I don't know, trying to impress them overly with with some additional bullshit. Mm -hmm. So what what do you do? So what what do you do when you go on these first dates? Like, what do you, what do you typically do? Um, I use a uh, well, I'm in LA, so I typically go to um, this. Uh, rooftop bar, mm -hmm. uh, which typically is like a couple, like a, some food and some drinks mm -hmm. roughly come out by like 50, 40 bucks, but also like typically like going there because it's a dope ass spot. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I'm trying to press the ass or anything, but I'm just also trying to bypass all of that shit and not mm -hmm. fucking really spend much of anything, if, mm -hmm. if at all anything, because I have had those one time situations where I could just pull a chick and don't have to do much, but like I think I took one girl to fucking. Um, we got this place out here called the uh, the Japanese Garden, which mm. is like five bucks to get into. Mm. I was able to handle business that way, but 
I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out some additional shit right. that doesn't cost me much. Right. Well, the thing is this, man. You know, when it comes to the first dates, you want to spend little to no money. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. so like, you know, like the, the spot, the rooftop, the rooftop uh, spot you went to, um, you say you got drinks and, and food? Yeah. So, cut the food out. Just get the drink. You feel what I'm saying? So, oh, shit. right, you take her to be like, look, I'm gonna, and you, you say this, this you do. You go, you meet her there, whatever. You say, look, I'm going to get the first round. You feel what I'm saying? And then so yeah. that's telling her she got to get the second round. So that's another thing. You got to, sometimes you got to get shit, these chicks. Right. You know what I'm saying? Get these chicks to put in some money. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, you're right. I'm feeling like, like apprehensive or scared to do that shit for whatever fucking reason. Like, I just need to, mm-hmm. to shake that shit. All right, there's another thing. I need you to kind of chew me out because mm-hmm. I fucked up. Um, broke up with my ex, like, December situation was a whole weird situation where I had to move from NorCal mm-hmm. back to Southern, Southern California. Mm-hmm. I fucked up and shot her an email for her birthday. and was just like, just saying happy birthday, hope you're happy, shit like that. Mm-hmm. I know I should have fucking charged it to the game and not even reached out and just kept it moving, but mm. I did that shit. And I need you to do your thing of, like, telling me why I shouldn't do that shit and have the other dudes here, too, because mm. that shit doesn't work out. So so why, why, why was you saying... Say that again? I wanted to see if she'd reach back out. Right. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. See, if you were just saying happy birthday, just say happy birthday on some regular shit, then it wouldn't be yeah. a problem. But if you're just saying that because you're expecting her to reach back out to you, then that's that's the issue because now you're you're sort of like being a little bit needy in that situation trying yeah. to get her attention. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah. Right. So so that's the thing. Like you know, and and why and why do you want why do you want her to holler back at you though? Honestly, dude, I <laughs> I have no idea. I'm being it, it, it just boils down to nostalgia. So I guess <laughs> that's really what it boils down to. Right. Nah, yo, fuck yo, look. Bruh, you gotta keep that shit pushing, bro. Because this is the thing: a lot of times when 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 you break up with someone or it's over, you start thinking of all the good shit that happened, yep. and then that makes yep. you think it was, you know, like I gotta get it back. Nah, just you, you're 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 looking at the highlights, but there's a reason why y'all wasn't together. Y'all not together anymore. So just keep that shit moving. You know what I'm saying? Because there's gonna be other women that you're gonna get with who are who's most likely going to be a better situation than you had with the with the girl you're with now you i mean your, your ex-girlfriend you feel what i'm saying so absolutely right and, and like i've i've been dating since i've been back so like i i know i got pull and stuff and i think one of my biggest things that really got me onto your work is mm. that i've been i've been doing well at like tinder bumble all the internet shit mm. but i need to re-get back to to cold approaching mm. and i know like there's a bunch of dudes on the internet that talk shit about cold approaching. Like, before I met my ex, that's, that's the way I did shit. You just walk up and down the promenade in Santa Monica. Right. And just girls that are out there for vacation. Um, and, like, you don't need pickup lines. I typically ask girls. <laughs> I think my shit was um, asking women for the time. And mm-hmm. when they pull off their phone, they're like, oh, it's noon. I'm like, no, silly, you got time for lunch or di- dinner. Right. Right. Whatever <laughs> and then fucking start chopping it up. So, like. Right. I think I think I just need to fucking start setting up a a, a regimen to get back into cold approaching. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just like just you know, get yourself back out there, start interacting with more girls. Cause like I feel like what happens is that when you're in that zone where you're not really doing anything, you start thinking of your ex and you start thinking of all these other things. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And so you want to get yep. yourself more focused on you know just doing you and doing other shit with other chicks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. Shit, man. Well, man, I appreciate it, Ben. That's that's probably about all I got. I gotta just fucking start putting the bill back on these on these bras and that's what's up, man. Lowering that, lowering that cost. That's but, what's uh, up, man. That's you, what you gotta do. Keep up the good work. Yeah, man. Appreciate the call, bro. All right. Thank you, man. Yeah, that's what it is, man. Don't be trying to go back and uh, get with that ex. You know what I'm saying, man. K Zach said, get off that lunch and dinner shit. Stop feeding these chicks. Facts. Yo, what's going on? What's up, Mr. Lucario? It is Blue Man. What's going on, player? I'm chilling. What's the deal? All right, so I keep running into this issue with females, right? So mm. everything will, seems like it's going smoothly, mm. but then I get the number. I try to arrange a date mm. so we can pick up, but then nothing actually happens. So, what do you think I'm going wrong? Is it when I'm talking to him? Mm. So you said, right. so you said, so you said you would get the chick's number, 
Um, this, this is this be chicks you meet in the street or like were you meeting these girls? In the street. Okay, so you get their number and then you say and then and then you would um you would text them and and, and what, do you, what would you do after that? I would try to call them. Mm-hmm. And we can arrange, you know, ask them when they free, mm-hmm. so we can link up. And when and when do you call them or when do you text when do you call them at? Like do you call them the next day? Do you wait a, a few days? How you do it? I call them the next day. Okay, and then when you call them the next day, what do they say when you when you when you get on the phone with them? There was one chick. She was well. I had just got off of work or whatever. Mm. I wasn't trying to talk for a long time. Mm. Hold on. Let me call. Let me let me call you back. I'm sorry. Somebody call me. I'm this sorry dude, about that. Yeah. It's dude, he, he got too much shit going on. He's like, let me call you back. <laughs> oh my god. We about to get into it, and this dude got to be on some let me call you back shit. Oh, my God. But, yeah, man. Okay, Zach, he said he's too focused on getting a number. <laughs> oh, shit. But, yeah, man. But, again, for those who don't know, who, who, who came in late, the Bad Boy membership sale ends tonight. So, make sure you join the Bad Boy membership. Get Hot Have Sex 2 in a Day audiobook for free. 60 second game book for free and the bad boy book for free. So the sale is ending tonight. You feel what I'm saying? So you gotta you gotta get that popping. Man. CJD said how how old am I now? I'm 38. I'm an old man, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I'm an old man. It's crazy. So yeah, what's popping off in the chat room, people? What is going on? Let me put the caller number in again. Man. He said the cop showed up, that's why he had he had to call me back. Hilarious. Mr. Kevin 9856, you said you got an anger problem. Any advice on what do you focus on when picking up girls? What what are you angry about though? What's 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 what are you angry about? Because if you if you if you're if you're angry and frustrated, that's gonna be hard for you to really pick up chicks. Because all they're gonna do is frustrate you more. You feel what I'm saying? And that's that's actually an issue with a lot of dudes. A lot of dudes, you know, they'll be angry, especially at women, and you know, then they'll try to like <laughs> you know, they'll try to holler at chicks and then they be like, What the fuck? Why this shit ain't working out? And then they get even more angry. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's good? Sorry, Mr. Lakari. That was a uh, call, phone call to set up an interview for a job. Okay, but cool, cool. All right, so we, we yeah. back. We back on it. So so basically you said you get their number, you hit them up, you call them the next day, and so you said you called this one chicken. What happened? I think she was in the middle of cooking, but I, I, I was trying to cut this conversation short because I remember you was talking about mm. don't be on the phone chit-chatting with these chicks. Right. So, I was saying, like, yo, I'm tired. I just got off of work. We're going to have to talk to some other time or whatever, yada, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. So, I got off the phone. And then, you know, as the week transpired, I do not hit him up until the day before. Mm -hmm. It's time for us to... Right, so, wait, so, so that girl, that girl, did you set a date? You set a date with her? Yes. Okay, and then what happened when, when it was the time to go on a date? Didn't answer nothing. Nothing happened. She didn't answer like any of my texts or whatever. So, all right. So you charge that charge ass to the game, and then you just keep that shit pushing, because that's how some chicks gonna be. So you saying so, and, and you saying how how many times has has something like that happened to you in the past like month or so? Well, well, since since her, that was sometime last week. So it's been three times. Mm-hmm. So you're saying that the last three girls that you try to get with, um, they they flaked. Yeah. Right. And so, how many like in the past? Let's say, cause I'm trying to I'm trying to get to. So what what happened? Have what happened when you actually went on a date with a chick? Like when you got actually um, you know, you got her number, you set a date, and she she followed through. When's the last time that happened? That was like sometime last like the the end. I think it was the end of last year. The end of last year. That's the last time. So. So, wait, so from 
the beginning of this year, January to now, you you haven't been on no dates. No dates, man. And how many and how many chicks have you tried to holler at and, and get on a date with since since January? Roughly. Mm. Well, since I've been back in Atlanta, I, I've been trying to get with ch- chicks like at the club. I've been calling like like a lot of chicks. Mm-hmm. But you know, since since that time from December up until now, I've been dealing with you know jobs and stuff. So mm-hmm. that's why I had to get off the phone. You see what I'm saying? Right, so, right. So that so so. But my, but my question to you is though, is because I want to know how many women have you been talking to? Because you just told me about three just now, but I'm talking about from January to now. How many chicks have you been talking to? Mm. I haven't been, I haven't been talking to a lot of chicks, man. Right, that's, and that's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm about to because that's, that's what I want to get to. Sometimes what happens is, is that, see, a lot of this is a numbers game. You feel what I'm saying? And so what happens is if, that, if you're not putting in the numbers... What's going to happen is is that you're not going to get uh, the result you're looking for. You see what I'm saying? So what happens is this is like like for example, I remember I was supposed to go on a date with this chick, and then and I called her in the morning to confirm she flaked, and then I matched with another chick on Tinder, like right after that, and I said yo let's meet up tonight. She was like cool, and then as the time was coming, she flaked. You feel what I'm saying? And then, yeah. literally, as she flaked, another chick hit me up, and then I went to go see her. You know what I'm saying? But so what I'm saying is, you're gonna you're gonna always have these flakes. You're gonna always have shit where you try to get with a chick and she don't fucking show up or whatever. But what happens is that you have to get more um, numbers up. This is why I was asking you how many chicks have you been talking to since since the year it came? Because it's, it's not about talking to one or two girls. You have to talk to a shitload of women because a lot of the women are going to be all over the place. There's going to be women who who going to fucking flake. There's going to be women who they're just using you for attention. Women who already have a boyfriend, but they're just trying to talk to you because just for right now, whatever, it ain't nothing going to happen. So it has to always be, um, uh, you know, more women. So now you said you, you, you're looking for like a job and all that other stuff, right? So you got to focus on that. So right now might not be the time where you have enough time to do it you feel what i'm saying as far as the women yeah. but 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 at the end of the day you have to put in a lot of work to get the chicks you see what i'm saying so instead of talking to three you might need to talk to 10 just to get three you feel what i'm saying so that's that's literally how it goes you see what i mean i, I got another question for mm-hmm. you so when you get a girl's number you don't chit chat with the phone is it is it a better to wait until the day before or you need to chit chat with a throughout the week and see like you know what's up and yada 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 nah nah what you want to do is when you get a chick's number all you do is hit her up to set the date and you don't call her at all nothing and let, the only time you text her or whatever is if she's hitting you up you understand you don't want to ignore her if she's texting you but you don't if you don't hit her up you understand what i'm saying so you let's say you meet a girl on monday and you you hit her up tuesday you'd be like hey let's get together on friday t- t- to go to this bar or whatever and she's like cool so, you know, Wednesday and Thursday, you don't you don't hit her up at all. Friday comes, you just text her, hey, what's up, we still on for tonight? And then she says, yeah, and that's cool, and then you just do that. You feel what I'm saying? You don't need to do a whole bunch of talking. Because a lot of times what happens is um, the talking a lot of times fucks up the situation. You see what I'm saying? Because, one, yeah. if, you, if you talk to her during the week, what happens is you may say something that's going to make her... Um, not want to fuck with you. You understand what I'm saying? Because and, and I've always said this. This is the time where it's the easiest for a woman to flake and, and just call it off because she is not emotionally attached to you yet. You see what I'm saying? So like let's say you 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 get it you get her number. Let's say you call her and y'all talking and shit and then you say some shit like I don't know. You be like, oh uh I like that 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 Donald Trump is president now because whatever. Then she's like, oh, this nigga like Trump, fuck this nigga. I ain't, I ain't going on a date with him. You see what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> stupid shit like that. But if you were in person with her, right? Let's say you go on a date and you're in person with her. You can say that same shit, but because you're in person, you have a little bit more to work with where she'll still probably like you afterwards because of y'all interacting with each other. But when you're talking to her on the phone and y'all haven't even met yet, y'all, I mean, y'all, y'all haven't even like hung out yet or whatever, it's easy for her to look for and, and nitpick for things to eliminate you you see what i'm saying that's how women think women see this is the funny part that guys don't understand 
women are always looking for the negative. You understand? So what happens is, let's say even if you're on an online dating site or whatever, a, a girl will look at your profile and because you say you're a dog per, a dog person, she'd be like, oh, he's a dog person. I, I have cats, so he's probably not going to like that I have cats, so I'm not going to like talk to him. That's how women think. So the more information you're giving her, the more opportunity is, it, it is for her to nitpick and then not want to go on a date with you. This is why I say do not call the girl during the week. Just shut up and see her on a date. You see what I'm saying? Because anything you it's like, you know what they say? Anything you say can be used against you. That's what it is with women. You see what I mean? So don't bother to give her any ammunition for her to, in her mind, fucking find a reason to not see you. Because that's how women think. They're always looking for the fucking negative. They're like, oh, well, he seemed cool, but, you know, he, he's into this thing. And I don't, I don't like that, so I'm just not going to talk to him. But what happens is once you see them in person, and once they get a taste of you, that's when they start to get a little bit emotionally attached to you. So that gets them hooked. But what happens is if it's the beginning, you just want to get her number, set the date, and then see her on the date. You see what I'm saying? You know, confirm and see her on the date. And that's it. All that other shit. Don't 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 waste no time. Now, if she does call you during the week, you can respond to her. Like, let's say she texts you and she's like, "Hey, how's your day going?" And you're like, "Oh, my day's cool. You know, I'm you know just running some errands or whatever." And you say, and you can say, "How was your day?" And she'd be like, "Oh, my day was fine." Blah blah blah. And you'd be like, "Oh, that sounds cool. Well, listen, um, I gotta go, but I'm looking forward to seeing you on Friday." You see what I'm saying? You cut that shit off quickly. You see what I mean? You don't want to have to fucking do all that shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how it is, man. So what, I'm, about to, I'm about to ask you another question. Yeah, go ahead. Do you think, do you think it's better to, like, once you get the number, do you think it's better to call her or text her? See, this is the thing. <laughs> uh, I I personally like texting better, and, and the reason why is because, and, and I'll tell you why, and, and I'll tell you one of the biggest reasons. I don't think it's good to give a woman, um, um, too much attention before y'all are meeting on a date. And so a text is way less attention than a call. You understand what I'm saying? And so and so so if I just if I just text a girl, hey, you free Friday, let's get together. Right? And then she says, Yeah, I'm free, and I'm like, all right, cool, meet me here. We're done. You feel what I'm saying? But if I get on the phone with her, it's like, oh hey, what's up? How's it going? What you doing? But you know, so it's more talking, more things you have to do. You see what I'm saying? So my thing is, I want to get to the, the easiest and quickest route to getting to see her and, and making this shit happen. So what I do is I just text. You understand what I'm saying? And, and the reason why I want to give her the least amount of attention is because let's say the day of the date comes and she flakes, right? Would you have rather just texted her for a minute or been on the phone with her for like 20 minutes and you would have wasted 20 minutes talking to this girl who's, who's, who's not showing up on a date versus you took a minute to just text her. You see what I'm saying? So I, I'm always looking at it like that to where if the girl does flake or she wastes my time, I didn't waste a lot of time talking to her on the phone for like a half an hour. You see what I'm saying? I didn't do shit. All I did was, so if she if she on some bullshit, I didn't give her the, the attention that she was craving and she, she didn't waste too much of my time. You see what I'm saying? I got you, I got you. You feel me? Ooh. What about to say, uh, I got what? another question. There you go. No, you go. Right, this is the last question, bro. You, got, you have to get a fucking thirty-minute game session. But go ahead. Go ahead. Do you do you switch up your game dealing with older women versus younger women? Um, not really. Not like I would say this is that it's not necessarily you switching up your game, but it's more so. And it's not. It's more so like um, you have a base of what you're trying to do already. And then you apply that to the woman. So if it's, you know, it, either way. So if it's an older chick or younger chick, you still apply. So let's say, for example, you're just trying to smash. You just, look, I'm just trying to smash some, some shit right now. You feel what I'm saying? Um, so now, if I'm just trying to smash, I'm going to do the same exact thing to the older chick that I'm going to do to the younger chick. The only thing is, the difference between the older chick and the younger chick is that usually, and I'm generalizing here, usually there's different ways that or different things that they're thinking about or different ways of going about shit so for a younger chick she may be let's say more like you know receptive to just having some fun and hooking up right so i may just be like you know like i may just say something to her 
to sort of get her to to to, to want to do that. The the older chick, let's say she's like my age, like 30, 30 some late thirties or whatever, but she's thinking about like marriage or some shit. She want a kid because she ain't got no kid and all this other stuff. So now I may have to come at her a different way um, than the younger chick, but it's still me trying to hit. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still that's still my agenda. So I'm not changing my agenda for the girls. I'm just understanding that I might get a different type of feedback from from the different types of chicks. And then I'm doing what I need to do to still, you know, get what I want to get across, which is to smash. You see what I'm saying? So it's not that you switch it up. It's just that you might end up getting different reactions, which may uh, make you need to, like, you know, do different things. But you're still trying to get your, your, your agenda across. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You know I got you. All right, bro, man. Appreciate the call, my dude. All right? All right, man. All right, man. I'm out. Appreciate it. Peace. All right, let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Who's this? K Dragon. What's popping, bro? Man, I'm doing good, man. I had to, I had to call because the dude said something in the comment. Mm -hmm. Yo, man, because the dude said something about getting money gives you confidence <laughs> and, it, and, and, it, and it boosts your self esteem. No, it don't. It gives you a false sense of confidence. Facts. It's, it's not real confidence. My, this is, yo, man, I got goofy. Hey, look. <laughs> The, the same guy you are internally, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Um, you are when you're broke should be the same guy you are if you got money. It shouldn't change. Right. Because <laughs> all money does, it gives you a, a better, a more comfortable lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't have anything to do with no fucking business. Mm -hmm. Facts. So, you know, I just wanted to say that, man, because I hate when guys say that, but money, you know, money boosts your, your self esteem. <laughs> no, it don't. Because <laughs> no, my thing is, and this is what guys need to understand. The same chicks that will reject you if you broke will be the same ones that's going to reject you if you got money. Mm -hmm. It's not about that. It's about you, the man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Motherfucker, Goofy. But uh, I, I don't want to stay on too long, man. I just want to say that. And you know who you are, dude. Don't, right. don't say that Goofy shit. Facts, bro. Appreciate the call, my dude. All right? All right, my left you, man. Yeah, man. Nah, that's, that's facts, though. But see, this is the funny part. If you think that the, the money is going to give you confidence, right, the ironic part is the money is going to make you even more insecure because what's going to happen is you're going to feel that false sense of confidence and then if you start making less money or you don't have as much money as you had last week, now you're starting to feel worse about yourself because you've, you've used the money as the catalyst to make you feel confident. You feel what I'm saying? So what's going to happen is if another dude has more money or that than you and he's around some chick you're trying to get with, now you're going to be all insecure because he got more money. Because your, your, your confidence is based off of the amount of money you have. And so your confidence is going to either rise or fall based off of the situation. You see what I'm saying? And, and that's the thing that guys got to understand is that you're, you're, you're sort of fucking up your, the way you're, um, you know, making the shit pop. You feel what I'm saying? And then it's, it's all over the place. Man. Dreaded Trady said, uh. He said that the dude contradicted himself playing he had more mo sex when unemployed than says money boosts your confidence. <laughs> oh, man. This shit is crazy. Like, I, I know a lot of dudes who have a lot of money and who, um, you know, are not confident, as, as, you know, at all. They have no confidence at all. It's ridiculous. Like, shit is crazy, man. Man, you said what opportunities can broke guys find with women access to places and events that cost uh, plus no money for a hotel if things go well during the date, bro? You gotta be, you gotta be creative. Look, if you broke, you know the park is free, bro. The streets is free. You feel what I'm saying? You don't gotta go to a, to a specific place. You feel what I'm saying? And and then and then on top of that, if the chick got shit popping off, you ain't gotta go to to a hotel. You go to her her spot. You feel what I'm saying? See, y'all gotta start dealing with chicks with money. You feel what I'm saying? See, if you're it, look, most dudes who who have a lot of experience in the game have been in situations where. They're dealing with chicks, and the chicks are, um, 
giving them money or paying for things for them. You feel what I'm saying? Man. Crazy. You said, what's my favorite rapper in the game? <laughs> Shit. I don't, like, I got a couple of people I like in, 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 in the rap game, man. You remember that dude, Charles Hamilton? I used to like that motherfucker. That, that, that dude was nice. But I like, I like uh, Kendrick Lamar. I like fucking, um, who else? That dude, that new dude, uh, Jid. He's nice. There's, there's a couple of people I like. Man. Dreaded Trader, you said countless times you've taken females for a walk to fill them out or go get a bite, but she at least paid for half. Facts, that's what you got to do, man. Don't be scared to let these chicks. Because look, if you tell a chick, yo, we're going to split this or you get the next drink or whatever where, you, where you're where you getting, um, you know, the chick to put in something, if she start catching an attitude or she, you know, start acting all funny, that shows you the type of chick she is. You feel what I'm saying? So you know. But yeah, you guys, you know, if you want to, if you want to know how to go on some cheap dates, um, you know, I got a, a bad boy membership program called um how to, you know, go on dates for ten dollars or less. You feel what I'm saying? So that's the thing. Man. To take a chick to the park. Facts. Facts. Let me see. Yo, what's going on? You. Yo. Yo, what's popping? Who this? Yo, uh, it's me. Remember, I called you yesterday. Yeah, what's going on, bro? I did what you told me. So what happened? What? 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 Remind, what remind me. Told remind told me of wait. Hold on. Remind <laughs> me and the audience what 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 you called in about yesterday. Okay. So a chick called me. Took, uh, called me up. She mm. said she wants to get down like today to meet up. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't know what she was. What she wanted. Right. I was like, I right, sure. I met up. I met up. Uh, met up with her today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I told her that I just wanted to smash. Mm -hmm. But she did ended up just wanting to talk. So I like charged her to the game room. Mm. So she, so and just, so she just invited you out to just to talk. So what did she want to talk about? Yeah, yeah, like about her business and shit, and more of that how we can get together and mm. just we're like friendly, friendly conversation type shit. Mm. And what what did she say to you when you told you want to smash? Uh, she said she was like religious. Not like religious, religious. She mm. just like been through like a whole bunch of guys and all that. <laughs> she said, like, "Hold on." She said, "Wait, wait." She said she been through a whole bunch of guys. Like she knows how. She's basically like tired of guys. She tired. She tired of getting fucked and, and left. That's what. It, that's what she really <laughs> mean. <laughs> yeah, she was tired with fuck niggas. Oh man, oh. damn you! you <laughs> I mean, well, listen, man. The thing is, this you know, it's is. It's, it's good that you it's good that you um you know what I'm saying that you let her know what you're trying to do you feel what I'm saying yeah. um because you know she at least knows now so at some point at some like if you still hang out with her at some point if she's if she's feeling it she she probably make it happen because it's the thing a woman's words are no match for for nature meaning that she'll say oh I'm tired of all of this and tired of all of that but guess what at some point, she gonna want some dick. So I do that shit in the back of my mind. That's why I, did. I wasn't like too like I wasn't like being a dick after right. she said no, you know. Right, but you know, but don't don't even sweat that. Just you know, talk to other chicks, exactly. and if you know she in the if she in the vicinity or whatever, if she in the area, or if she's like still like hollers at you, just let her know. Like, listen, I'm I'm still trying to smash. So whenever you're ready, come right, through. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And that's that'll be that. But my question is though is. Uh, was is was it could there have been a way where I could have been more aggressive? Like, am I flirt, I was flirting a lot, mm -hmm. but I feel like I could have still made something happen. Is it, like, what would you suggest in that kind of situation? I mean, not really, because look, what you gotta understand is this: all you need to do is say what needs to be said, which is what you said, which is like, look, I'm trying to smash, right? So, 
if she's if she's down, she would have like you know what I'm saying went down that direction. So it's nothing mm-hmm. it's nothing where you could be more aggressive. None of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You say what you need to say, and then she has to respond. You feel what I'm saying? And the thing is this: if the chick wants to do it, she's gonna do it. If she don't, she's gonna be like, ah, I don't know, you know, all that other shit. You see what I'm saying? So and, and notice and notice the thing is she didn't say she's not interested. She just said, oh, because this and that. She, you know what I'm saying? Some other shit. She didn't say she didn't want to do it. That's true. That's true. You feel what I mean? So, so I'm gonna just be waiting for now until she calls me up. But the, the, but what I want to tell you is don't don't even think about her though. This is what I'm saying. Like talk to other women. Do do your own thing, and if she comes around at some point, then you know what I'm saying just keep it on that. And then and then at some point if she if she feels that she want to do it, she'll make it happen. A lot of times it's just really letting the girl know that you want to do it. Like I talked about this before. There was a, there, when I was in Hunter College, there was a girl that used to come to the college. Like she wasn't in the college, but she would come there to like sell some like beauty products or some shit. So I would periodically see her. So I remember I told her I was like, yo, I'm trying to you know I'm trying to like holler at you. Like what's good. And she was like, oh, I'm kind of seeing this guy right now, whatever. So then every time I seen her, I was like, so, you know, what's, what's good with you? Like, you still seeing this dude? And then she was like, yeah, yeah, but she knew I'm trying to smash. So yeah. long story short, three months later, I get a call from her because we, we just exchanged numbers and everything still, still. But I get a call from her out the blue. She's like, what you doing today? I'm like, I'm chilling. She's like, do you want to come over? So I come over and I smash. You see what I'm saying? But the reason why that happened was because I, every time I saw her, that was what was in her ear. That's what she would think of when she saw me because that's what I was to her. I was the guy that's trying to smash. You see what I'm saying? So that's what you got to do a lot of times where chicks, you know, they're not, they're not, you know, 100% saying they're not interested. But if, if it's a chick you're periodically seeing or whatever, you keep that on her mind so when she's ready for it, if she wants to do it, she'll make it happen. You see what I'm saying? And that, that's what it is. That's true, man. You feel me? Yeah, I appreciate the, uh, the knowledge. Yeah, man. Appreciate the call, bro. Yeah. Ryan Amala. Take it easy, bro. Yeah, man. That's what it is. Shit. It's fucking hot as shit up in this motherfucker. Man. Exactly, Illuminati. Plant the seed and then move on to the next. Facts. Like, I have, I've had shit like that happen a few times where I tell a chick, man, you know, holla at me when you're ready. And then, sure enough, you get that phone call. Or that text out the blue. You feel what I'm saying? So that's what it is. But yeah, the call in number 646-481-3901. You feel me? Man. Yo, what's going on? Yo, Lucario, what's good, bro? I'm chilling. What's poppin'? Who's this? Yo, this is Libras, man. Libras and Lions. All right. What's going on? Yo, man. My thing is, I want us to get away from that, that hating on each other mm. and uh, getting get out of each other's way. You feel me? Like, talking about this whole validation thing. Mm. If I if I validate a bitch a little bit and she's not really feeling me and she move on to the next dude and she like him more, mm-hmm. maybe I just helped out that dude by validating her. And she wasn't feeling me, but I don't give a fuck that she moved on to some next nigga. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And right. like, if, if if she ain't really feeling me like that, you could you could might think you do everything right, and she still not be feeling you. Mm-hmm. But long long as that next nigga piping her down, what do I give a fuck though? Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying we gotta stop that that hating on each other. If she move on to somebody else, long as she getting piped down, getting dick from somebody, mm-hmm. that's that's really all that matters. <laughs> so you- because. <laughs> So so who's who, who, so who's hating on who? You saying that a lot of like, dudes be hating on other dudes and shit? Is that what you saying? Yeah, yeah, you know how it is when that shit gets annoying when you out with the chick and you got some other niggas hating on you. They don't know the situation. They don't know if you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. They don't know if the bitch giving you money. Mm-hmm. They don't know. So that's what I'm saying. We got to keep that keep that haterism definitely to a minimum level mm-hmm. because some dudes they take that shit to heart when she move on to the next one. Right. And we don't need no more Elliot Rogers around the teeth, you know, getting right. all fucking butt hurt, shooting the place up and all that. There's enough for all of them. Right, facts. That's, what, that's what I'm about to say. Like, you know, there's a, there's enough pussy out here for everybody. But, you know, dudes, you know, they 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 too busy worrying about all this other shit and, all, and, and, and what another dude is doing. They worry about the next nigga assuming that they know the situation. Right. And they, 
when, when, when you see somebody out with their bitch, man, you don't know the situation. Mm-hmm. Just let that man move how he moving. You right. don't know what's going on. Right. And and the validation thing, like I said, you might, even if you don't validate it, she still might move on. You might think mm-hmm. you're doing everything right or following mm-hmm. all these rules and shit. Right. And you might think you're doing everything right. She still might not be feeling you like that. But see, you know, the, the, so stupid, you part, the stupid part about this whole validation shit is that Anything that you do dealing with a woman is validation for her. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, exactly. Anything. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? So, so you can't even. You can't even. Um, like even for example, like if you like if you a MGTOW, MGTOW is still validation for women because right. you're giving women attention, saying, "Well, I'm not fucking with you because of this and this and that." Right. You're still talking about women. You feel what I'm saying? So right. everything is still. You approach a girl as validation. You talking to her as validation. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. you can't escape right. it. So it's like dudes gotta, you know, get a, get a, get away from all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, man. Just let that next man move how he moving. Mm. And just long as we not out there, as long as they getting piped down from somebody, I don't really even care mm. if she move on and, and if she flake on me for, mm. for some other nigga that same night. I don't give a fuck. Right. Some nigga he piping her down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, and and I just go ahead and move on. Right. You know what I'm saying? We right. just want to keep them bitches with dick in their mouths. And frying pans in their hands, man. That's it, man. <laughs> That's the goal, man. I feel you, bro. All right, bro. I appreciate the call, man. Keep doing your thing. Man. All right, man. Peace. Man. Man. Hilarious. Ooh. Hilarious. He said, dick in his mouth and a pan in the hand. <laughs> oh, shit. That shit's funny. Damn, these damn ice cream trucks be outside my crib. Making all that noise and shit. The undisputed man, you say you're not good at cold approaching. You're not good at approaching women. You approached one earlier this year. <laughs> this year, but in general, I'm bad to have anxiety. How do I manage my anxiety and start approaching them today? Well, that's the thing. You got to approach them to, to, to get rid of that anxiety. You know what I'm saying? You got to go into that shit. Like, you have to feel that anxiety and still approach. You feel what I'm saying? Like, feel that anxiety and still approach. Man. Because you said you approached one earlier this year. That means you ain't been approaching nothing for the past few months. That's all I'm about getting some ice cream. <laughs> oh, man. Shit is crazy. But, yeah, man. So, what is popping... In the chat, people. Let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's up? What's good, man? What's poppin'? Who this? It's Kervin from Florida, man. All right, what's going on? Not much. You know, I'm just calling in. I'm like, yo, like, why are dudes afraid of pushing chicks for me? You said, why, like, what? Female, just look the pussy. What the fuck is going on? Well, you said you said why they doing what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't I can't hear you. Your phone sound like it's going in and out. You said why are dudes scared of doing what? Why are dudes afraid of abortion chicks for? Oh, <laughs> well. I'm like yo, they're just a female with the pussy. Like what the fuck is going on? Like mm-hmm. it sounds like there's some type of supernatural beings or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. They think of shit just like everybody else. Right. They they for they do everything just like us. They just have a pussy, we have a dick. What the fuck is going on? Mm. I don't get that shit. Well, man. the thing is, again, it's it's the scared of rejection, the, the the ego, all that other shit that 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 makes them not want to approach chicks or be scared to or scared to do it. You feel what I'm saying? So it just is what it is, you know. It, and and you know, everybody at some point, you know, they're gonna reach a point where they're gonna have to get out the comfort zone and just do it if they want to make something happen. You know what I'm saying? That's not really all it is. You feel right. Me? Yeah, man. So what else? Right, what man, else is going on with you, though? Keep doing your thing, man. Keep doing your thing, bro. You are the best dating coach on YouTube, man. I don't want anybody else. To mm. Appreciate it, man. From in and out, bro. I mean, you are straight up for real. Them all their dating coach, man. Mm. I think you're just scam now, man. You're just like trying to sell <laughs> shit. That's so that they can't try to sell this shit, but you know the game from in and out, bro. Straight up. That's what's up, man. Appreciate it, bro. Just keep doing your thing, bro. All right, man. Be safe. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Appreciate that Ooh. shit, man. So I'm, I'm me, me and me and uh Miles is still working 
on the Game Kings documentary. So I can't wait for y'all to see that shit. That shit is going to be crazy. That shit going to be crazy. Who we got? Because we got we got uh, my dude Eddie Fuse in it. Boss Mac. Top Soil is in it. Ron Wills is in it. Steve the Dean is in it. Um, Rosebud is in it. So that shit, that shit is, is fire. It's going to be fire. Man. But yeah, that shit going to be tight. Joseph G says the same reason people get nervous before a job interview because she... Cause they got something that they want. See, a lot of dudes, man, you know, they just gotta get used to it, man. Once they get used to it, they be aight. Yo, what's good? What's going on, Locario? What's poppin'? Who this? It's your boy Shakul from North Carolina. You should know me by now, bro. I, I can't, man, I get a, a, a million calls, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Man, you don't be getting no million calls. Hell yeah, I get a million famous, calls, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what's good nah, with you? Hey, everything's cool. Bro. Yeah, last time we talked, we chopped it up. We had some good information. We had some good dialogue for the fellas. But today, basically, mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out. I, I've come to. I think I, I need your opinion, obviously. But mm -hmm. <clears throat> as far as self-diagnosis goes, I feel like I've been talking myself out of the pussy. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like I've been talking myself out of the pussy. Like basically, uh, I, I've been getting all these bad chicks' numbers, mm -hmm. and. Uh, I basically saw this dude online basically tell me to start giving these chicks ultimatums. And that ultimatum kind of looks something along the lines of, hey, straight up, I'm not with the games. I'm interested in you. Mm. I want to get to know you and see how you are as a, how, uh, you, uh, fuck, and see how you are as a person. If mm. not, it was nice knowing you. That's basically the ultimatum that I've been hitting these chicks with. Well, yeah, how's uh, that How's that ultimatum? <laughs> it's, it's, it's honestly worked out a few times. It's not going to work a hundred percent of the time. Mm -hmm. I've accepted that. But, uh, mm -hmm. the one girl who I really wanted it to work on, it did. Mm -hmm. But then I feel like I did some dumb shit later on. Like we past that part. We're just, you know, casually texting. Right. But, what, but, but hold on. Wait. I want to get back to this thing you said, because you said you would hit her up and say, Hey, I want to get to know you. Like what, what was the thing again? Say that again. I've, I've got it written down. It's hey straight. It's hey straight up. Mm -hmm. I'm not with the games. Mm -hmm. I'm interested in you. I wanted to get to know you, and I want to see how you are as a person. If not, it was nice knowing you. Mm -hmm. Basically, you know, kind of you know, giving them a small ultimatum, saying you know, uh, with all like the the late responses and you know like all the kind of like the dry texts. And this is what this is what you right would there. this is what you would text them at first. Yeah, this is what I would text. This not at. Mm, I'd usually wait about three texts in on my part, you mm -hmm. know, like get the hay in, right? You know, maybe have a little uh, a little filler in, and then you know I'll hit them with this. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like it scared off, you know, a few girls, which you know I, I don't know if, if I came on too strong by hitting them with that too early. Mm -hmm. But uh, some of the girls, you know, hit me back and, and was like, "Cool, I appreciate you telling me that." And you know, uh, this one chick, you know, she, I guess she kind of said that she was actually busy that's why she wasn't getting back to me mm -hmm. and then uh the, the chick that i got my my head set on though that i'm actually uh calling to talk about i sent her like these song lyrics and it was just like some the money back yo like some some casual song lyrics like this dude online basically saying you know this was like i guess like a strategy so mm -hmm. I, I tested it out on her and uh she texted me back after the first set of lyrics and she was like, what is this, a song or something? Then I, <laughs> then I sent her some more mm. and I didn't get a response. And then after that, I didn't text her back. I wasn't about to double reply. <laughs> well, bro, so you do, like you do, it, you do it way too like much, that. bro. You do it way too much because like, okay, so you're saying that you felt like you're talking to yourself out of, put, out of the pussy, right? Yeah. And so, see, I think all that stuff you're doing is, is, is talking to you out of the pussy. But then it's like, what am I supposed to do? It's because like, what am I supposed to say? Because look, because look, think about it. Think about think about this. Think about this. If you if you let's say a chick is interested in having sex with you, right? And then you send her a text saying, um, "Yo, I ain't with for the games. I'm trying to get to know you and all this other stuff." Right? Now you sound like you ser you sound like you seriously trying to be with her. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it ain't like you. It ain't like you text her and say, "Hey, listen, uh, what you up to Friday? I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to hook up with you. What's good? You understand what I'm saying? Like, you don't sound like you just trying to 
Fuck, you sound like you almost sound like you trying to like get into a relationship with the chick. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, so what would be the ultimatum for a guy like you know me and probably some other listeners right now that just wants to fuck? Like, okay, so he gave me a good ultimatum. Well, if you, I get some relationship shit. No, no, if you just want to fuck, that's what you got to tell him. That's all you got to tell him. You tell him yeah, fuck, hook up, no, whatever. Come on, no, come on. This is I'm not living in New York. I'm it don't matter where you live. What do you mean? What do you mean? Where, where, where you from? Where you from? Again. I'm from Fayetteville, North Carolina, Dreamville, Vietnam, J. Cole's homeland. You already know what it is. Right, but this is what I'm saying. Why why, why do you feel like you can't tell a chick you're trying to smash? Honestly, you're talking... Okay, so let, let's say I'm, 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 I'm cold approaching a chick in person, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm going up to her for the first time, mm-hmm. and... I've never, I've, I've gotten pretty crazy, mm-hmm. but I've never told a chick, you know, after cold approaching her, meeting her for the first time, that mm-hmm. I just want to fuck. I've what? never done that. All right, so how do you know it's not going to work if you've never done it? <laughs> that just seems like some off-the-wall shit, and, and plus, dudes would be getting hemmed up around here all the time for that. All right, so so wait, so wait, so you trying to you trying to tell me you couldn't walk up to a chick and say, hey, miss, how you doing? You know, I saw you from across the street. I thought you was, was cute. My name is so-and-so, what's your name? Well, listen, um, you know, here's my number. You know, you should give me a call because I want to hook up with you sometime, right? You you can't say that? That's, oh, yeah, I hit him with that all the time. That's, okay, that's so that's the same. Saying, like, that's the same thing. Yeah, or that, you, that's like some basic shit. Right, so that's what I'm saying. That's the, that's the soft way of saying it. You know what I'm saying? You can just be like, listen, yeah. I, you know, I'm not, trying to, I'm not trying to go on no dates or nothing, but, you know, I think we, we should get together and hook up. You feel what I'm saying? Or you'd be like, yo, I think we should get together so we, you know, I could get you naked, something like that. You feel what I'm saying? So, so that she know, so that she know you, 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 you just trying to, you know what I'm saying? That's the soft way of saying it. You see what I mean? But, but, but what I'm saying is that the the idea needs to be conveyed that you, you're trying to have sex. Yeah. You feel what I'm like saying? I this, like I had this chick yesterday, bad chick. Like she was a single mom. She was 23. Mm-hmm. She had a little four year old. But uh, she had nice titties, mm-hmm. fat ass, pretty face, white teeth. You know, I, I was shooting the shits with her in, mm-hmm. uh, in this little store for a good little minute. I got her number, all that shit, you know. Mm-hmm. She said that she wanted to go out to eat before she left on Sunday because she does makeup. She's only here for a wedding. Mm-hmm. And uh, just out of nowhere, I, I was like, so uh, do you like girls part-time? You know, I was just joking. And mm-hmm. she was like, yeah, she looks like me. She got nice titties, a fat ass, and a pretty face. Mm-hmm. She kind of looked me in my eyes and when she said that, so. Mm-hmm. You know, just, you know, like, whenever the real, I guess you could say, sexually tense moments like that come up, mm-hmm. that's kind of like where I get combust, and I don't know what the real freak shit to say is. Mm-hmm. Well, so, the, well, the <laughs> thing is, the thing is, man, like, I feel like you're, you're, you're making it, you're making it too, too, like, you're making it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. The thing is this, when a girl, when a girl wants to have sex with you, right? Like, let's yeah. say, okay, let, let, let's say, for example, let's look at it like this. Most girls, right, 99% of the time, the reason why they get, they go on a date with a guy or they do anything with a guy is because the guy made it happen. He approached her, he hit her up on the, 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 the Tinder or whatever, whatever. He's like planning the shit, right? So yeah. a woman, a woman only gets to do what she wants to do in a relationship or sexually when the guy makes it happen. So they're susceptible, they, they, they're... They have to wait on it. So imagine a woman sees you and she wants to have sex with you. She has to wait on you to give her the permission to be sexual. So so what I'm saying is that when you step, when you tell a girl, hey, I'm just trying to hook up, in her mind, if she wanted to have sex with you, she's like, thank God he said something because I wanted to suck his dick. I wanted to fuck him. I've, I've actually had, look, I remember I met a chick um, at a bar once, right? And we're just talking, you know, shooting the shit for maybe like 20 minutes or whatever, right? And yeah, so yeah. I said to her, I was like, listen, um, no, we, we started flirting, we started kissing. So after we, we make it, I said, listen, yo, let's, let's go back to your place, right? And so yeah. she starts giving me head. When she, gave, when she was giving me head, she said, I wanted to do this as soon as I met you. She was like, I was thinking about this as soon as I met you. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm telling her I, the, the only reason she's sucking my dick is because I said, "Yo, let's do this." Because she wasn't gonna say it. Because most girls, like you gonna have some that's like they don't give a fuck, but some girls, 
they don't want to look like hoes, so they're not going to be very explicit about wanting to fuck you. But they're thinking, I want to fuck this guy, so this is why you got to say it. You see what I'm saying? When I, the first interaction, face to face, whenever I cold approach, that's when I got to say it. Yeah, just be like, listen, you can, and you can say it like this, look. Be like, look, um, I only want your number because I want to hook up with you. You understand? Be like, don't give me a number if you ain't trying to hook up. You see what I'm saying? So now she knows what it is. And so she gives you the number. She knows that it's, so it's even to the point where when you call her or text her, you be like, yo, what you doing Friday? You're like, come to the crib. Because she already knew what it was. You see what I'm saying? You ain't got to go on no dates. You ain't got to do none of that shit. She, she, the, the reason why she's taking your number, the reason why she's calling you, or the reason why she's interacting with you is because of that premise. You gave her the premise to make a, she, she made a choice off of that premise. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, I've, I've told that to chicks too. I was like, listen, I told, I told, like, I would give a girl my card and I'll be, I'll be holding a card in my hand and I, I say, listen, take my, take my card, my card has my number on, I want you to call me. And so as she's about to take the card, I'll pull the card away and I say, listen, don't take my card unless you won't, you know, you're going to hit me up. You feel what I'm saying? And I, and before that, we'd be talking about hooking up. So she knows that if she hits me up, it's about hooking up. You see what I'm saying? And so that's the thing. You just got to set that premise. So when you're talking to her, you know, you could have a regular conversation. Yeah, what's up, blah, 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 all this other stuff. But then when you're exchanging numbers, when you're closing the deal, she has to know the deal is being closed about hooking up. Be like, listen, you know, I'm look. I want to give you my number, but I only want you to take my number if you plan on getting naked with me. You feel what I'm saying? That's what, that's what, if, if not, don't take my number. You feel what I'm saying? That's it. And so don't, you know, you don't got to be scared to bring that up, especially if you're flirting with a girl and you can see that she's actually interested in you. She's flirting back. She's smiling. You could tell that she's feeling you. Go ahead. You feel what I'm saying? Because she's feeling you. You see what I'm saying? And, and what you got to understand is this, and this is the, the part that trips up a lot of guys when it comes to being sexually forward. It's very important. It's very important. Because I'm imagining myself saying that to mm -hmm. a chick for the first time. I know the first couple times is going to come out kind of shaky. Right. I'm going to say it just like you just told me. Mm -hmm. Don't give me your number unless you want to get naked with me. Right, I'm gonna say it right. Just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come back. Right. I'm and so, and so, you, so this, is, this is one of the things you got to, you got to, um, you got to, uh, uh, look for look for one is and this is this is just what you were saying you have to make sure that you're comfortable saying what you're saying because that's that's going to make it um you know even more uh beneficial for you and, and and she'll be more receptive if you're if you're um you know comfortable two you have to understand that the more sexually forward you are a lot of times the chick sometimes will um, automatically, you know, uh, fall back from it. Meaning she'll, you know, so for example, if I say to a girl, let's say I'm, I'm talking to a chick, right? And yeah. I tell her like, look, you know, you know, let me get your number. And, you know, I want to, I want to, I'm going to hit you up because I want to fuck the shit out of you. So I'm going to call you and you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to come <laughs> up, you know, <laughs> so, Right. So, so now, so now look, this is what I'm saying. Because I say, I'm going to fuck the shit out of you. Right. Remember, there's a lot of girls that don't want to look like hoes. So she don't, she doesn't even want to look like a hoe to me. Even the guy that's telling her, I want to fuck you. She's going to have to act like she's not a hoe. You see what I'm saying? So sometimes what's going to happen is she'll give you blowback. She'll be like, what? What did you say? That's disgusting. How could you say that? Blah, blah. Or she'll be like, I'm not doing that. You understand what I'm saying? So she's going to have that reaction. So you got to understand that that reaction doesn't necessarily mean she's not interested. She's automatically having that reaction because that's how she has to act so she doesn't seem like a slut. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's an automatic reaction that she's going to do because she doesn't want to seem a certain way. You see what I'm saying? And so that's how when you're extremely direct sexually, a lot of times chicks will do that. But that isn't. But the thing is you have to not uh, get phased by that. or act, You see what I'm saying? Like you just sort of look at her, laugh at her like, listen, you know. Don't worry about that. I know you're trying to, I know you want to do me. So listen, uh, take my number, holler at me. You feel what I'm saying? You get, a, you get over that initial reaction. The initial reaction is just her social program and making her act that way. It's the same way where, um, uh, and I used this uh, example before. When you're around your boys and somebody that says something that sounds gay, you might say pause automatically because 
you're that's what you do. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody say some gay shit, you say pause or no homo. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and so yeah, yeah. it's an automatic reaction. So the, the pause and the no homo is the same thing as the girl saying, What? What did you say? That's fucking crazy. That's what they gotta do. You see that's, what I'm saying? Okay, that's what they're socially conditioned right, to. Right, right. So don't let that throw our, you off. Our rebuttal has to be like a laugh, like you said. Just yeah, just like, you know, don't, don't let notes. that phase you. like, And then you just continue. Be like, listen, um, I'm going to call you this day and we're going to get a pop. In. You know what I'm saying? Like, like as if whatever she says, you know what I'm saying, is nothing. You see what I mean? And so that's the thing is that they they still want to do it. But you're going to have some girls who are going to be socially programmed to act that way. Some girls not going to care. Some girls is going to be cool with it and and even be more receptive to you you see what i'm saying so this is what i'm saying like don't be afraid it's just like this um just like if you was going like like if you just talk to a girl on some regular shit like you're just trying to go on a date there's gonna be some girls who are gonna be cool with it and want to go on a date with you and some girls that's gonna reject you it's the same thing when you're doing it you know when you're going sexual and you're being sexually forward some girls gonna be cool with it some girls not gonna be cool with it but you got to be yeah. able to do it, though, to, to actually s to see it happen. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I think locker room just kind of made, like, a pretty decent point. Mm -hmm. You know, from somebody who's lived in the South their whole life, basically locker room just said in the chat that uh, this game that you're preaching won't work in the South. Oh, my I goodness. It's quite, look, listen, I, I listen, listen. He, I kind of see what he means. And, and, because, and, and, why, and why, hold on, why would it not work in the South? I think he's talking about, I, I honestly think he's talking about with white women. Like, white women in the South, you know, some of them are programmed that if a, a black man comes at them that sexually, uh, that sexually forward, like you said, to be a little afraid or a little, you know, I guess you, I guess you could say stereotypical. And, you know, it, it could turn backwards for you. Shoot, they might get the freaking police involved. You never know. Oh, my goodness. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Wait, yeah. so, you, hold on. But, uh, you think, hold on, hold on. You think... That if you're if you're talking to a white girl, and she's attracted to you, and she wants to have sex with you, that she's going to call the police on you if if you if she's trying to have sex with you. No, I'm not. I, like you said, women aren't like men. You know, mm -hmm. like they could be attracted to us until we say something as straightforward as that, mm -hmm. and then they feel like we just offended all their morals and their integrity. Mm -hmm. And you know, their their dad would be so freaking pissed if he was there. And they no, but this is what you got to understand. If this is what you got to understand, if abuse. you're if you're forward to a woman sexually, right, and she's just like, you know totally like you know oh i'm not feeling out whatever right that means that she's just not into you like that a girl who's into you sexually is not going to be like that's not the wrong thing to say you see what i'm saying that's the right thing to say because what happens is that she wants that to to happen you see what i'm saying there's, there's going to be girls who want it and girls who don't but the girls who don't they're not going to sit there like if you like if you if I'm at a bar cuz I I've, I've went my uh Miles used to live in in North Carolina. You feel what I'm saying? So I used to be out there a lot in North Carolina with Miles. And so we it was one time we went out on you know to to the nightlife and all that other shit. I was talking to mad white girls. You understand what I'm saying? And so the thing is, look, if if, if, if the thing is if they of course you're going to have chicks out there that's racist and all this other stuff, but if I if you go up to a girl, holler at her for like 3 minutes, Tell her you trying to like hook up with her or whatever. She's not gonna call the cops. First of all, think of it logically. If I'm walking down a block in all the clubs and all that other stuff, right? And I'm talking to some chick for like two minutes, and I say some shit, but she's not feeling it, and I walk away. She don't. She don't know who I am. She don't. She don't know my name really. Nothing like that. I just spoke to her, and I. Where's she gonna find a cop? And by the time she find a cop, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Like. What do you, you see what I mean? Like dudes just be saying shit, but they're not thinking logically. You feel what I'm saying? So how, so first of all, she's out in the nightlife. She's going to take time out of her day to go and find a cop while she's out there trying to have fun and meet dudes. She's going to take time out of her day to find a cop just because some dude that she wasn't interested in tried to holler at her. That doesn't make any sense. You see what I'm saying? Maybe if the guy was persistent and he didn't leave her alone. That right, exactly. That that would be an issue. She would probably be like, all right, you know, this is some other shit. But you going up to a woman, approaching her, talking to her real quick, and then keeping her moving, that's nothing. It don't, and and it's, it's not this, well, you're in the South. and it, Nah, chicks in the South like dick. Just like chicks up North like dick. You feel what I'm saying? Like, these chicks all like dick. So you have to, and this is the thing. 
you have to be comfortable enough self and because you're not confused i mean i said confused because you're not um uh uh, uh confident in the situation that's not it's not going to work out for you this is what i'm saying like you have to have that energy first and also be able to um be ready for her response when the, when the situation happens you feel what i'm saying so that's what it is. All but don't right. don't be scared, bro. Don't be scared, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, make it happen. And I feel like from growing up in the South, especially the area where I did grow up, like Fayetteville, Hope Mills, you know, there is still some subtle and some, you know, right out there kind mm. of racism. They don't really call people niggers, but, mm. you know, they do kind of like not give you fair treatment if you come into their establishment. But uh, right. that would discourage, you know, a lot of black males, you know, especially around my age range, early 20s, you know, late teens, mm -hmm. from, you know, just going up to these chicks with that, you know, alpha aggressive sexuality, you know, mm -hmm. that we're, you know, basically accustomed to from, from thousands and thousands of years of our ancestors. You know, right. They've kind of taken that away from us, our, our sexual confidence, I guess you could say, and I just got to, you know, get mine back. It all starts mm -hmm. with me. Right. Real talk, man. But yeah, man, yeah. just go out there and fucking uh, you know, holler at these chicks, man. Don't be don't be afraid to be direct with these girls, man. They know what it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, all bro. Right. Yeah, all right, all right, bro. Be good. I appreciate you. All right, holler. Peace. Man, you guys gotta stop being scared, man. All she, all she could say is no. It's, it's it's really that simple. Yo, what's going on? You. Yo, what's going on? This is Cario. What's poppin'? Who's this? What's going on, Mr. Cario? Hey, this is George. Hey, I think you kind of hung up on me the other day or something. Yeah, oh, mad. my bad, my bad. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> Yo, my bad. Y'all was like, I was pressing some other shit, and then I fucking pressed yeah. the thing by mistake. But what's good, bro? Nah, what's good, Mr. Cario? Hey, like I, well, <laughs> like I was saying yesterday, mm. hey, thanks uh, for starting up the Bad Boys membership program, man. Yeah, man. Kinda Help me out with my uh, game and all that stuff, though. And while I was on a Bad Boys membership, bro, it kind of inspired me to study game a little bit more. I'm the type mm. of guy, I like to have as much ammunition, as much right. ammunition as I can about something. So mm. I learned a lot of shit over the past few years and all that stuff, though. Mm. But, uh, yeah, I definitely worked on my game a lot. I learned a lot of shit. I learned this is, I kind of learned that this is kind of a game of chess. There's a lot to it. Mm -hmm. so, you know, but, I mean, like I said, bro, uh, definitely changed my life with a bunch of shit. I just got a question, though. Mm -hmm. But the last year, uh, I decided to stop talking to females because I decided, you know, I want to work. I decided to focus on myself and shit, though, because mm -hmm. my life was kind of messed up, so I had to work to get it back together and shit. Mm -hmm. But when I finally decided to get back into the game and shit, though, you know, uh, uh, like I went out last weekend, I feel a little rusty. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like eventually I'm going to get back to, you know, getting bitches like here left and right and shit. Right. But the thing is, though, but the thing is, though, since I'm feeling a little rusty, so, you know, I got knowledge on game, you know, definitely learned a lot of shit from you, definitely learned a lot of shit from, you know, uh, working on my game past, uh, working, on how, working on how women work and shit, though. My question is, mm. can, since you have knowledge, can that affect your rush? Should that be an excuse to affect you being rusty a little bit? Wait, sorry, because, say, say that again, right? say that again, hold on, say that again. Uh, since, since I got knowledge and experience, you mm. know, on game, can that be an excuse to affect your rust, affect you being rusty? Like, over the weekend, I decided to go out with the guys and shit, because mm. I stayed by Illinois in Chicago, bro. Mm. So, going back to Chicago, there's fucking bars everywhere. Right. You know, downtown and all that, though. Mm. But when I decided to go out with my friends and all that shit, though, you know, holler at bitches, you know, I may have, I think I may have hollered, like, maybe, like, 40 bitches this weekend. Mm. I say, like, maybe 10 of them gave me my number and shit, though. One mm. of them just got back to me today. Mm. But, nevertheless, but nevertheless, you know, I felt like I could have done a little more Right. You know, because that's my question, though. Since since I'm rusty, but I do got knowledge on the game, mm. can, ru can rust affect your knowledge of the game a little bit? Because mm. like I said, I just got back in the game. Like, can you understand my question? Mr. So, is he, so you're saying if you're if you're rusty, does that affect your knowledge of the game? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Because I felt like I could have done a little better, but... Right. You know, it's been a minute since my eyes been out and shit, though. I, I, I don't like... I'm the type of dude I don't like to come up with, like, excuses and Right. That's the thing. Well, the the thing is this: if you if you, um, you know, a lot of times what's going to happen is is that if you're if you're not out there doing what you're doing, you're gonna get rusty because it's about you being out there making the shit happen. So you you'll know certain things about the game. You know certain types of you know things, but 
what happens is is that it's about applying the knowledge in these situations consistently. So it's almost like it's almost like the, the for example, it's like I can know a lot about working out, but if I don't go to the gym and work out, right? What's what's going to happen to my body? You feel what I'm saying? What's going to be the outcome right. of the situation? So that's that's the thing with the game is that it's not a, just about knowing it, it's about applying it and and being out there and doing the things you need to do because the more you do that, the better you get at the game. So you see what I'm saying? So it's not just knowing it, it's All about right. doing it. You see what I'm saying? So you got to get out there more to do it. You see what I mean? Oh, damn. So I got to put in some work there. Yeah, you got to go. You got to keep it. Because that's the All thing. Right. Once you, because once you, because even with me, if I, if I look, there's, there's times where if I don't go out for like, you know, a month or two and really go out there and make it happen, you feel what I'm saying? It's, it's you know, I get rusty the same way. Or like, because there, there'll be times where I remember there was one time where, I didn't go out for maybe like two or three months, right? And then when I went back out and I'm out at this this spot, one of my boys, you know, he, he invited me to the spot and I saw my, I noticed myself fucking hesitating. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm like, what the fuck I'm hesitating right. for? You know what I mean? But that's because I've, I was out of the situation for, for a while. You feel what I'm saying? Like I know what to do and I know, you feel what I'm saying? But my, my energy is, is it wasn't there yet. You feel what I'm saying? I had to like yeah. get myself yeah, back in the booth. That's the, that's the thing that's going on with me mm-hmm. at the moment right now. Right. When I went out over the weekend, you know, I applied my knowledge like, you know what, you know, act like I'm co- be confident as fuck, mm-hmm. know my value, you know, mm-hmm. the, uh, perfect timing, you know, analyze situation, analyze the woman and shit like that, you know, be confident in a motherfucker. And then it's like, damn, I, I'm, I'm thinking about that. But mm-hmm. then it's like, damn, I'm doing another thing, so, mm-hmm. well. Right, okay. yeah, that's the thing. You, you, gotta, said, you, gotta, you gotta put yourself out there so that you're your energy is um, on point when it comes to doing those things. You see what I'm saying? To doing the things you know. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Because the knowing All of right. it, um, you know, it, when, when, a, when, the, uh, when the knowledge is applied, that's what you, is going to give you that, um, that, that uh, energy and that result that you're looking for. You see what I'm saying? So it's okay. that type of thing. You know what I mean? That sounds good. All right. Well, one last question, Carl. I know you got other callers. Yeah, go ahead. And, uh, just one last question. Mm-hmm. Uh, as far as game wise, uh, my last question is is about narrowing your focus. Mm-hmm. Because when my ass, when I get confident, that the confidence just takes over. Mm-hmm. It's like I don't think, I don't do it. The shit just completely fucking takes over. It's right. Like, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, confidence just be like, and it's like bitches they flock to it. Sometimes bitches be coming up to me, coming up to me sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I even but. I know the game is more than just confidence, but mm-hmm. can that be just really it though? Could the confidence just take over and that's it? Like, is that really like all you need is shit? Well, the thing is, it's you, you, you need um, everything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's almost like yeah. it's almost like when you eating. You know when they say you need a balanced diet. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you don't, you know, you, you know, you don't want to just eat fucking rice all day. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to just eat carbs all day. You want, you still need some protein. You still need some some uh you know fruits or whatever you feel what i'm saying so all of it together combined makes for a better situation so the thing is you could be confident as hell but if if your communication skills are weak right that's gonna hurt you when you're talking to women right if your communication skills are if your communication skills are tight but you're not confident you feel what i'm saying then that's gonna hurt you too because you're not gonna you're probably not gonna approach much you know a lot of women you feel what I'm saying so but if imagine you have confidence and your your communication skills is on point then the combination of that is that is what makes everything you know flow and then let's say you're you're confident your communication skills is on point and you dress nice you feel what I'm saying so your look is on point then you see what I mean so it's everything has to be combined because you don't want to just look good. But you don't know how to speak to a chick. You feel what I'm saying? You don't want to just like be confident and look good, but you don't know how to speak to the chick because that's gonna fuck you up too. You feel what I'm saying? So it's all those things combined that okay. makes everything work. You see what I mean? It's a it's a combina- it's a combination of everything. You see what I'm saying? Right. Oh man, that makes a lot of sense. Right. Okay. Well, I'll put in some work. Thanks for the call, yeah, Carl. Man. Hey, mm. hey, look, I'm in the chat room, man. Tell that motherfucker locker room, don't come to your show today with that beta male mindset shit. <laughs> and tell your callers, stop listening to that motherfucker unless they want to masturbate until they 60 or something. Right. <laughs> Man, I've been out the game for a year, and I came back and hollered at 40 bitches over the weekend. I don't do that holler at five or six bitches in a matter of two months. It don't work like that. Right, right. You know what I mean? Like, you got to learn the game, and you got to work. Otherwise, if you don't work, you go masturbate. That's how it is. Facts. But nevertheless, though, bro, 
Thanks again for the call, Carl. I know you got other calls on the line. Yeah, I appreciate man. the battle room shit and all that shit, bro. You take it easy, though, bro. I appreciate it, man. Peace. <laughs> right, take it easy. Oh, man. See, that'd be funny, though, because, you know, dude, dudes like locker room think they know the game. <laughs> oh, man. That shit is funny. Yo, what's poppin'? Yo, Locario, what's good, man? This is Ed from VA. What's going on? Chillin', man. Yo, I just wanted to say, I see I see what, what you mean by, like, actually really putting work in in the game, mm. man. It's, it's funny, dude. I'm gonna tell you this much. It's funny. I had got with, like, well, I had hit up, like, three chicks mm. that I had got their number two. All three of them was on my second job. I know you say don't fuck with bitches on your uh, job, right. but this second job I don't really give a fuck about. I can leave tomorrow if I want. To. Right. But yeah, so I got the number of two of the bitches that work there, mm -hmm. and like this girl who randomly just left her number on the table. She was actually trying to get at the waitress, but mm -hmm. the waitress was like, I don't roll that way. Right. So I was like, fuck it, I'll try to hit her up. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> it's funny. Well, I hit them all up on the same day. Mm -hmm. When I got, and, and I just kept it. I kept it quick. When I got to the part of we should together, we should get together and get a drink. Mm -hmm. We should link up, or when are we gonna link up? Mm -hmm. I ain't got no response. Like I, I pulled the same thing. Uh, Miles said he did mm -hmm. with a girl who left her number on the table. Mm -hmm. She was like, "Oh, I said we should get together and meet." She was like, "Um, <laughs> okay." I was like, "Yo, so tomorrow at this bar at seven o'clock?" Mm -hmm. No answer. Wow, see, that's that's the thing, though, because you got to understand something. Um, and this is why I say you got to put in work. It's a numbers game, all that other shit. Women, women, like, for example, a lot of women, um, they, one, they like attention. So they, they'll talk to you, but then as soon as you're trying to make something happen, they'll give you no response because they, weren't, they were never interested in making something happen, but they still like the attention. They still like feeling like, um, you know, that you want them. You see what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. that's it. Because, look, it's, it's funny because even, like, I remember I went to this event with my wife, right? And so, when when we got there and we chilling, we talking to some people, and she was like, she was like, the fact that everyone knew we were married, you feel what I'm saying? That, me, that meant that she wasn't getting any attention from the guys. You see what I'm saying? And so, but, and so women crave the attention. You see what I mean? And so she, she, she was like, you know, my wife was kind of like annoyed that she wasn't getting no attention because all the, the people knew we were mad. They didn't know we was in an open relationship, but they, the guys knew that that was my wife. So they just was like, fuck it. Right. So, but, but the thing is women, they're going to want the attention. So this is why you'll get the number, you'll call them or you'll text them. You'll go back and forth and all this. Who the fuck is ringing my bell? Hold on. Give me one second. Yeah. Right, my bad. Fucking UPS motherfuckers. Anyway. Be trying to do your show and life be trying to get in the way, man. I know, right? For real. <laughs> so what was I saying again? I fucking, I fucking forgot. Oh, no, I was saying that. Yeah, you were saying. That women, yeah, women, they're going to like the attention. So this is why you'll get the number and you'll talk to them. But then when it comes to like fucking saying let's get together, they'll stop res responding. Uh, and chicks, chicks, they'll do this a lot on, um, on Tinder too. Like if you're on an online dating site, you'll match with a chick. And you'll be talking her back and forth. And then she, you know, she'll just basically, as soon as you say, let's get together, that's when all communication stops. You see what I'm saying? So that's what they'll do. And then also, too, sometimes you'll have women who, um, for example, will, they feel, they'll feel weird not talking to you. And what I mean is this. Let's say you get the girl's number. She'll give you the number. She's like, oh, he seems cool, whatever, right? But then her mind changes. So now when you, when you text her and you say, hey, what's up? She feels compelled to respond to you because she, wants, she doesn't want to like, be rude. She doesn't want to be like an asshole, so she'll respond to you. But in her mind, she doesn't want to see you. She doesn't want to go on a date with you. So at the point when you say that, 
that's when there's no response. You see what I'm saying? So that's just that's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it just kind of shocked me a little bit. You know, that's like three L's in a row. I'm like, damn. Right. <laughs> right. And that's like, uh, I had a quick question, man. Mm-hmm. Um, my question is: Is there such thing as your when you initially approach your first initial reaction with a female? Is there such thing as like coming off too friendly? I guess. Oh yeah, of like course. When, when you when you I, I know when you shoot your shot, like it's like okay, you got your objective in mind. Like yo, mm-hmm. I'm only I'm talking to you. I'm trying to get with you. But is there I guess such thing as like being too friendly with it when you're first approaching the chick. Yeah, to well, the that, point where yeah, she'll give you the number, but mm-hmm. in her mind, the whole time you you know you're talking, her her thoughts were oh wow this guy's trying to be my friend. Mm-hmm. Of course. Well, that well that happens when you keep the when you keep the situ- when you keep the conversation too platonic. You see what I'm saying? When you keep it mad regular, every time when you when you talk to a girl and you're trying to really get with her, there has to be flirting in the situation. If there's no flirting, it's just platonic. You see what I'm saying? And so, and what I say to guys is you want to you want to get to the flirting sooner than later. You see what I'm saying? So that you can see if she's interested in you um, sexually. You see what I'm saying? So that's that's the thing. Okay. So, right, go ahead. What you gonna say? Yeah, cause cause I was like, you know, you you run into those situations where you get at a chick, you holler at her, and then you text her, and then you be like, oh, I'm trying to go on a date, or I'm really trying to, you know, hook up and do something, mm-hmm. and then they act like, oh wow, that's what you wanted. Right. Oh, exactly. No right. Problem. Like what the fuck? Why do you think I'm talking to you? Right. Well, that's the thing because because when you first was talk, talking to her. You were talking to her mad regular on some friendly shit. And that's why they get, they're like, wait a second, you, you, you understand what I'm saying? Because women, see, women, women, like for example, and, and, and this is the thing, we all see the world how we, how we do things. So uh-huh. this is why guys, for example, think, um, you know, women just is all about looks because we're looking at it as it's all about looks for us with the, with the women. So what women do on the flip side is, the reason why she's like shocked that you were trying to like get with her is because she thought you were talking to her just as like a friend because women will do that to men. You see what I'm saying? Like women will talk to guys just to talk to them. You understand? They don't they don't they don't realize that we're talking to them because we're trying to get with them. A woman doesn't talk to a guy just to get with him or or talk, you see what I'm saying? Like this other reason she'll talk to you. So she thinks there's a, there's other reasons why you're talking to her. You see what I'm saying? So this is why she'll get confused when you hit her up and you was being all friendly at first and now you're trying to go on a date where she's like, what? Because that guy that wanted to go on a date should have been there in the first, you know, uh, conversation. You see what I'm saying? This is why, um, you have, you, you remember that, um, that situation with Aziz Ansari, the, the comedian, where he got with that chick and she, she acted like, I guess she felt like he was taking advantage of her or some stupid shit like that or whatever. So the, the thing that happened with Aziz Ansari was he went on a date with this chick, took her to dinner, all this other stuff, and then he took her back to her crib and then he was getting all sexual with her and then she tried to act like it was some other shit or she was acting like he was, I guess, taking advantage of her or whatever. And my guess is the reason why that probably happened was because when he, when he first got on a date with her or he first started talking to her, he was acting like a complete gentleman. You feel what I'm saying? On some, oh, yeah, we're, you know, whatever. And then when he gets to the crib, he wants to be like, I'm, I'm just trying to smash you type of nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Which confuses the chick because you're presenting a certain type of guy at first and then later on you're trying to be this other guy. You see what I'm saying? So when you're trying to just fuck a girl, it should be a continuous... Uh, flow of you being that guy that's just trying to fuck from the beginning. You see what I'm saying? Because when you have like exactly K Zag and 20 said that nice guy shit. Because when you're acting like a super nice guy and then all of a sudden you call her talking about let's get together and do all this other shit, she's like, what the fuck? Like, who, who was this guy? Like, when I first met you, you were just a friendly, cool guy. Now you're trying to fuck me? Like, what's going on? You see what I'm saying? That's And that's what happens. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I, under, I understand it, but at the same time, it's, it's like a outside in, like you know, outside looking in mm-hmm. type of situation. Because it's like you know, I can't see myself when I interact with females. Mm-hmm. So it's like, 
I'm trying to pinpoint myself, mm. you know, and I, and I know I need to get on the Bad Boy membership. Yes, you I'm do. Say that right now. <laughs> um, and it's like, you know, I'm trying to say, you know, look at it and be like, okay, so when exactly around here did I start being friendly or mm. what did I say to be friendly mm. so somebody can actually think this kind of way? Right. Well, that's the thing. It, 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 this is the thing. When you're having a conversation with a woman, right? After, when that conversation is about to be over and you're trying to get the number and all that other shit, it's to the point where she should she should like know or she should feel that like there should be no ambiguity in there. Like she should know that you're trying to fuck her. You feel what I'm saying? Like that that needs to be like super obvious. Like yo, like you, you got to literally tell her or. In your energy, it has to be there. So, like, if you're if if you're just a guy talking to a girl, you're like, oh, so like, let's say you're at a bar or something or at an event, and you're like, oh, hey, how's it going? And you know, how'd you you know what you would you hear about this event? And you know, oh, this this place is really nice and blah 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 blah. You just regular small talk the whole time, and you're like, oh, so what do you do? And she's like, I'm a I'm a nurse. She's like, oh, you're, you're a nurse. That's so great. So how long have you been a nurse? You just regular t regular shit. Now at that point. If you say, hey, you know, you seem cool, like we should like hang out sometime and let me get your number or whatever. Here's my number. That chick's going to think you're just on some friendly shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because of the way you're coming at her. So it always has to be where it's a flirtatious shit, sexual shit. So you're talking to her, you're asking her all the regular shit. Yeah, so how'd you hear about this event, blah, blah, blah. Then you got to switch that shit. You'd be like, yo, you know, I noticed you got some really, really beautiful eyes. You know what I mean? Like, so you're starting to flirt with her. You see what I'm saying? Now she's being receptive to your flirting. So now, after you flirt with her and you're getting all sexual, you're talking all this stuff, then you say, yo, let me get your information. Now she knows and she sees that it's about the sex. You see what I'm saying? So it's always going to be this, like, you know, uh, thing where she, she's going to uh, look at it on some amb ambiguous shit if you're not really pushing it sexually. And also, too, the reason why you want to push it sexually is because... You want to leave zero room for a woman to be an attention whore. There's nothing that, that attention whores love uh, more than dealing with a, a guy who's ambiguous, who's sort of like on some up in the air shit. Because now what's going to happen is you try to get with her, she could use you for the attention, and then when you try to get sexual with her, she could be like, oh, I didn't know, I thought we were just friends. Because you weren't making it clear. You see what I'm saying? And you got to make it clear. So that okay. there's no right. ambiguity. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, man. Well, thank you for uh, clearing that up for me. Yeah, man. All right, man. I appreciate the call, bro. All right? All right. Peace. But yeah, man, you got to tell these chicks what the fuck it is, man, because these chicks be on some shit. All right, I got 15 minutes left before I got to get up out of here. You feel me? Man, he said, "What can you say to make it clear?" Well, tell it. You got well. That's the thing. Your your whole um, interaction with her should be should have some elements of you flirting with her, so that she knows that you're interested in her, which is why you're getting the 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 um, the the number. You see what I'm saying? Because with the flirting, you could be direct with it. Be like, "Listen, yo, you know." You got some sexy ass lips, man. I'm, you know, I want to kiss them and see how soft they are. You feel what I'm saying? So now she knows what what it, what it is. You, she knows that you're interested in her sexually. So let's say you don't even kiss her. Let's say she's on some like, oh, I can't kiss you here. This is, you know, in front of all these people, blah blah, blah whatever. She's still flirting back with you. Like, all right, well, listen, let me get your number, and I'm gonna hit you up, you know, tomorrow. We'll we'll set something up. You see what I'm saying? So your your it's it's. It's it's basically letting her know that the situation is between you and her is gonna be sexual. You feel what I'm saying? Man. Lorenzo, you said what are my plans for the weekend? I gotta um I mean, I'm about to go see my girl tonight. And then I gotta um do some work, you know, same old shit. But yeah, I got I I had I put the um the how to how to get how to uh, get a tight mouthpiece program on the Bad Boy membership now, so it's I put it out a day earlier, so the latest program is how to have a tight mouthpiece. I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a a, pro, a, a, a a clip of it up tomorrow, so we can get a pop. 
He said, do I still do the email show with Steve Dean? Yeah, we're going to do it uh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday. You yeah, feel me? So, yeah, we definitely going to do that. You yeah, feel me? So, I got to take one more call, and then I get to get out of here, people. Man. Locker room, what the hell are you talking about? And then he said, why is the, the Bad Boy membership so expensive? Now, nah, that shit is cheap as fuck, bro. That shit is $97 is cheap as hell, bro. <laughs> that is cheap. Well, for those who think it's expensive, <laughs> what you have to understand is, is that the reason why it is that price is because I want the people who are serious about it to really make it happen. But also, what happens is, is that the knowledge and information that's in the Bad Boy membership um, is it's it's a lot of shit. You understand? And and like they say, the game is to be sold, not told. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, ninety seven dollars a month. Man. But that's what it is, man. That's what it is. And once once you get on there, you're gonna be like, damn, this shit is it's almost like I'm giving this shit away for free, truthfully. I have, at, at this moment, I have 70 programs on there now. So that's 70 programs um, that you can listen to. You feel me? So definitely get up on that, man. And, and that, uh, the mouthpiece program I just dropped, that shit is, the, the game on there is crazy. The game on there is crazy. You feel what I'm saying? It's crazy. Man. Shit is ridiculous. Shit is ridiculous. So what's, what's, what else is good, people? What else is good? Man. Big Maddox six five. You said you got a, you got a solid chick, but you want more. So go get more, bro. Go get more of that shit. All right, let me see who this is. Yo, what's going on? Yo, what's shaking, my guy? I'm chilling. What's going on? Chilling, man. It's, it's big stain, man. How All you? Right. What's the deal? Man, you know, same old man. You know, I just got some motivation for the chat, man. You know, like, you know, just cold approach is the way to go. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Don't don't sleep out here, man. You know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. have some confidence. Holla at these these bras, man. You know, go out, go mm -hmm. to the bar, talk to some girls, man. It's gonna happen. You're gonna get rejected, but you you're gonna you're gonna end up fucking girls. Right, like, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? I just like I'm on YouTube and I see a lot of like. All this, I don't do cold approach and people, nah, man, that's mm. whack, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not true. Just right. get outside and talk to girls, you know? Mm -hmm. Talk to them. Some of them are going to give you their number, some are not. Some are going to come home with you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And fuck with Lucario, man, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We New see products it. on sale and all that, you know? You know appreciate what I mean? it. But yeah, man, I'm just coming through showing that love, man. You know that's what's up, bro. I appreciate that, man. You feel me? You all right, bro. That's what's up. You all right. That's all right. what's up, bro. But yeah, dudes be, dudes be scared to approach these chicks, man. Don't be scared, man. Locker Room said, the people want us to debate. <laughs> See, Locker Room, we, we, we don't debate, man. I teach you stuff. That's that's what happens. You know what I'm saying? Yo, what's going on? Who's this? Hello. What's popping? Who's this? Hey, it's me. Oh, God. Here we go. Who's this? I just wanted to say I'm so sorry for anything. Oh, God. Here we go. Let's, let's, um, let's, let's see where this goes. You were the one that said you wanted to talk things through. Oh, Lord. Here we go. It's Shannon. Uh-huh. You told me to call you tonight, didn't you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Babe, come on. Don't do this to me. <laughs> You're hilarious. What's going on? What do you mean you don't know me? See, this is, this, these are one of those, um, those, Honey, uh, I know automated, we've grown apart, but don't say automated that. fucking, um, uh, things. Let's, let's see how this, how this works out. I 
said I'm sorry. Just accept my apology. Stop trying to get me out of your life. Uh, I do all these things for you, and this is how you treat me? It's funny. This sounds like a chick I'd probably smash, too. I'm just some other random chick to you now. Is that right? <laughs> you know what? I shouldn't have even believed you when you said you wanted to get back together. <laughs> I thought you were the one, baby. I love you. This is funny. Is that it? There ain't no more? I think that's it. Man, people people is creative with these with these fake ass calls, man. They're creative. He said some voice out. <laughs> oh shit. Funny. Man, but guys, remember. Um tonight. Is the last night for the Bad Boy membership sale, okay? Where you get How to Have Sex with Two Women a Day, audiobook, the Bad Boy book, and 60 Second Game book for free at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That is the end of the sale. So you join the Bad Boy membership, you get those products for free. Do not hit me up after uh, today for the sale because the sale is over today. So you guys have a few hours left. You got about six hours left to join the Bad Boy membership to get the sale where you get the free, free products. You feel what I'm saying? All right. What's popping? Who's this? Hey, what's up, man? It's Kevin from Dayton. What's going on? Oh, shit. What's going on, bro? Man, nothing, man. Hey, I just got to say something, man. A lot of these guys are talking about the girl rejected them. Mm -hmm. To me, there's no such thing as rejection. Right. She rejected herself. Mm, preach. She rejected herself. You can't reject me. Mm -hmm. You rejected yourself because you know you wouldn't run for me. Mm -hmm. And if you don't want me, I feel sorry for you. So there's no such thing as rejection. Mm -hmm. You have to have that in your mind. No such thing as rejection. If you're that dude, how can you be rejected? Mm -hmm. It's their it's their fault. And like you said, when a woman doesn't want to be with me, I feel sorry for her. Mm -hmm. Because I'm giving her opportunity. I'm going to advance her mind. I'm going to advance her whole life. Mm -hmm. And then she'll be a better person after she deals with me. Right. Who wouldn't want that? Any woman would want that. So if she doesn't want that, that means something is wrong with her. Right. So that means she rejected herself. Mm -hmm. Facts. <laughs> so, so, so that's, that's what guys got to get in their mind, man. They talk about woman rejected me and, oh, I got rejected. Oh, stop it. Quit crying. Mm -hmm. If the woman don't want to be with you, so what? Too bad. Right. You move on to the next. Mm -hmm. Okay? And and the one guy that called in and said that he was a, uh, this woman he really, really wanted, that was the problem. Mm -hmm. That was the woman he really, really wanted. Mm -hmm. So he started doing things out of character. Right, right. He, st he started doing things on a, on a mode where he was really being, uh, what they call it, he wasn't sure of himself right. because he tried to, Approve, prove himself to her mm -hmm. so he could be with her. Right. You don't want to. You don't. You don't want to have to do that mm -hmm. when you're when you're dealing with a woman. Mm -hmm. You are the guy. Right. So whatever she thinks is what she thinks. Right. Facts. And guys got to quit getting so caught up on how a woman looks. Stop. This is my thing right here. Mm -hmm. Get you an adjustable seven mm -hmm. all day long. Mm -hmm. The pins are cool. Right. But it, it's gonna take work to be with a ten. <laughs> It's going, I mean, an official 10. I'm, I'm talking about where there's 10 guys standing out there, mm -hmm. and if we ask 10 of them, seven going to say, that's a 10. Right. That's official 10. Mm -hmm. That's work, man, because that chick always going to have offers and, and, and opportunities mm -hmm. to move to the next man. Right. So you have to constantly be on her. I, 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 I've been with a couple. It, it's not easy, man. Oh, yeah. They, <laughs> see, guys don't know. They don't know. They think they think they they be like, oh, I just want that dime. But it's like you, you got to be prepared. To deal with that because a lot of times with those chicks, that's a lot of attention they get from other dudes. So you got to be able to, 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 to handle that shit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Exactly. And not be bothered by it. Right. When I was with, with, one, with one chick that was bad, she worked in a bank. So she was getting dudes all the time sitting mm -hmm. there and she would tell me. Right. Like, Baby, what happened last night? I said, tell me what happened. Right. And she would 
hey, hey, could wait to get home and tell me what happened. For real, oh, he wasn't ready for you, girl. Come here, give me a kiss. Mm. I mean, that's how you gotta be. Right. And, I, and a, a good book too for guys to read is um, the Art of Seduction. Mm -hmm. Excellent book. Right. Very long. No, no pictures. You gotta read and, and, and study that book. Mm. The Art of Seduction is really, really deep. But right. I hear a lot of guys over here when they talk to women, they're 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 real bland. Mm -hmm. A woman has emotions. You gotta bring out those emotions inside of her right. by how you talk. Mm -hmm. That no brings talk. it out in them. Mm -hmm. If you see a woman and she looks cute to you, hey, how are you doing? What is your name? Mm -hmm. You gotta put put a little emphasis in your voice when you're talking to a woman, man, so you can bring up emotion out of her. Right. And, and and that's what's so key about it. So guys come off so dry. Some of the guys out here talking and they say they approach a the woman, this is what they said. I can see why that woman didn't want to get with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because you're not bringing out any emotions in her. Mm -hmm. And a woman, when you're when you talking to a woman, she knows immediately you want to screw her. Right. You don't have to. You don't have to say, "I want to. I want to ask you." That's not necessary. If you talk to a woman right, she knows exactly what's going down. Mm -hmm. And and when guys talking to women, don't sit there for three and four and five and ten minutes talking about nothing. After about a minute or a minute and a half, get to the point. Mm -hmm. Get Facts. to the point. And, and hold up. You always got to have a woman wanting more. You mm -hmm. know how you see a, a, a real good a, a artist, a singer, and right. he's on stage, and, then, and he's like, okay, he, he's, he's talking the show real quick, and he want an encore? Right. You got to leave a chick wanting an encore. <laughs> you got to leave a chick clapping. I want to see him again. I want to see him again. Right. That's when you cut a conversation short. You, you, really, you get it real good. You pull that number. and say, okay, man, hey, I got to do something real quick. I'm going to see you later. I'm going to call you, girl, and I know you're going to be waiting on my call. Mm -hmm. And leave it right there. She'll be like, who is this guy? Talking about waiting on his call, and she's going to be waiting on it, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how you got to pull them, man. Yeah. you got to be real enthusiastic. Guys mm -hmm. be on here be so dry to hear their conversation. And this is a point I want to bring out, too. The one dude on his on his uh, uh, YouTube channel that said he don't approach, mm -hmm. we all know who he talked about. Right. <laughs> this, this, is a, this, this is one point right here. You got to listen to how he talks subconsciously. He says, when he's with a, when you're with a woman and you're doing that deal mm -hmm. and the lights are off, they all look the same. Right. That let me know right there, he not getting ten. Right, right, the right. That he's talking to are not ten because I don't want to have I don't want to have sex with no chick with the lights off. The chicks I deal with, I leave the lights on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you if you turn the lights off, that's a problem. Shouldn't be turning the lights off. I want to see everything. Right, right. Mm hmm. So yeah, you gotta listen to the subliminals, man. And 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 he says when he approaches a chick, he kind of talks like real corny. He's like, how what would it, what, how would I look going up to a chick? Can I get your number? Can I can I do this and that with you? Okay, that lets me know you don't have the ability to approach a chick mm -hmm. by what you're saying. You don't approach a chick like that. You gotta be smooth and confident. Right. You have to let a chick. You gotta you gotta let a chick know. I do this all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm giving you an opportunity right. to be with me. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't want to be with me, right. that's fine. Okay, baby, I'm moving to the next. Mm -hmm. Facts. That's all I want to say, man. Hey, hold on. These dudes going to make me upset. They're going to make me start a channel. <laughs> no, you should. That's what. Yo, you definitely got to do that, bro. Do that. Let me know, man. So, you know what I'm saying? Get get, get yeah, cast man. to subscribe, man. I'll be dope. Oh, man. If I start a channel, man, I'm definitely going to add it. Exactly. That's what's up. Yo, definitely, yo, do that shit, man. Do that shit. That should be dope. All right, man. I get with you, man. I appreciate it. All right, bro. I'm a holler. All right, All peace. Right. Later. All right, people. So that might do Kevin. He be spinning that fire, Ooh. people. Um. All right. So listen. Remember, um, guys, make sure that you join the Bad Boy membership. Um, you have up until tonight to take advantage of the sale. Remember, you get How to Have Sex Two Women a Day audio book for free, the Bad Boy book for free, and um, 60 Second Game book for free. So you're going to get all three of those products for free when you join the Bad Boy membership uh, from now up until tonight, okay? All right, so listen. Let me shout out to all the people in the chat. We got the locker room in the building talking all that shit, uh, <laughs> Trevor. Trevor Never, Big Stain, Mike Strip Guy was popping, K Zagan 20 in the building, uh, Theo C, Whiskey to Don in the building, DJ Shaddy Perp, Kaiser Sauce, 
First Down Illuminati, uh, VP Films, Sean the Goat, who else? Junior Abad, uh, RV R Rick BMX, um, who else? Ronnie Ron in the building, Raven was good, Raider 6969, who else we had up in here? Dreaded Trader, what up? Who else in the building? Rohan J. Simple Sean in the place. Man, I appreciate everybody tuning in. So I will see you guys again maybe Monday. If not Monday, Wednesday. If not Wednesday, always Friday. All right? So I'll let you guys later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace.